And we are back here with our Washington Capitals franchise mode. Fell short with the uh, ultimate veteran squad. And, uh, well, a lot of them have departed. And I think it's time for us to retool. We're holding on to Ovi, of course. He'll likely retire after the season. I'd be surprised if he doesn't. But if he doesn't, well, he's a cap for life. We'll just keep playing him until he eventually retires. He's essentially just going to go ahead and break that one, uh, sorry, 1,000 gold threshold, the milestone. And that's why he's uh, sticking around. But, you know, he understands we got to take a new direction. He won another cup with us a couple years ago, or the year before this last one. So he's still, he's still a happy boy. All right, but before we get uh, too much further here, we do have a winner. To read off from last season's point scoring contest, still no clean sweeps. I think throughout this entire franchise mode, if I'm not wrong, which is kind of nuts. But it has been, the goalie predictions have been just absolutely awful. So, we'll read off that uh, winner right now. The winner is Jake Earhart, who got the team lead Carlson and the league lead Austin Matthews correctly. So, congrats to you there, Jake, and hopefully best of luck to everyone else in this coming season. So, with it with our well, with our direction in mind now. What we'd like to do is probably at least try to grab play uh, grab some players who are on the younger side but but sort of established, right? Cuz our new our new core is essentially Casablanca, Yaguyas, uh, high note Goddard, like you can draft a little bit, and I'm not gonna just not draft. But I mean, New Hook, we could honestly fit into our plans. I know he doesn't have X factors, but I don't know. He is real, at least in this scheme, really good for the second line. I don't know if this is gonna be our coach, but he's not bad. Like he got 72 points. He's well built. It's just the no X factors. That's the only thing. But honestly, he's not too bad. Um, the good news is, is he's. Uh, well, he is RFA, so we don't have to trade him this season, even though he's on an expiring deal. We could trade him at the draft if we wanted, and he's a guy who we could probably trade to one of those, you know, a team that has maybe been rebuilding for a while, wants that jump start instead of taking another draft pick. You know, New Hook, 25, about to enter his prime RFA. You know, they could afford him, and he would be a big, big boost to a, to a team who needs him. So... So we either, you know, trade him for a younger player or, or, you know, the actual draft pick. That's, I think we hold on to, uh, to New Hook in that regard. But some of these other guys, man, Kuznetsov, Chikrin you can maybe hold on to for at least a little bit. But he's got a shit ton of value. So that depends. But, yeah, he has a lot of value. Like a lot of value. And he's got X Factor. He's pretty damn good, but obviously Guyas is a part, big, big part of our our longer term plans. Goddard for sure as well. And I thought there, no, I think those are only two really who are the big parts of our, yeah, of our defensive core at least. So maybe holding on to chicken. Who knows? Anyway, before we uh, actually will make a deal here, there's something I did want to take a look at. Whether you know. While we don't need playmakers now, we might in the future. If there's nothing available, really, then we're going to have to wait. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just stick with value because that's going to tell us. Uh, we'd probably likely want a center. Though we do have a center sniper. A winger playmaker wouldn't be the worst thing. It's a, He's a low elite. So, um, Shane Wright's there. Three years at that price. He should be RFA when he comes off that, actually, which isn't bad, but the Sens probably not wanting to give him up. <laughs> Most likely. Uh, Lambert, I'm not a huge fan of that deal. On the Rangers, yeah, I really don't like that deal. That's the tough part, too, is also like uh, Zach Benson isn't too bad on the Habs. Yeah, he's not too bad. Plus, we could sign him to our own contract. Obviously, Kuznetsov is there. Travis Kahn on the Blues. Interesting. The problem with these guys is, is you're likely not going to be able to trade for any of them. At least, the teams are likely are, are not likely to want to give them up. Yeah, Seller, they're not going to want to give him up. Uh, who's the other one? Hold on. So, it was... 
Benson was there someone before me at Lambert or right. Uh again, probably not. Yeah, that's the main issue is uh, you have to almost really, really overextend, and we I don't think we quite have that sort of value yet. I mean, we, we have, but we've been going all in. I mean, conservative seller, like maybe, but you see how they got on the block, like Zabenejad, uh and stuff like that. Yeesh. And again, this needs to be someone who could be a piece for us for a while. Like, Lomel is okay, but again, it's on a team that probably doesn't want to move him. Khan isn't bad. They do have a lot of centers, but yeah, he's kind of... Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not really... This is going to be tough. Savoie. 87 at 22. Don't like the face-offs a whole lot. Tomasino's not on a horrible contract. Terrible face-off, so. Man. We got Zegers here. Again, not a whole lot of years left on that deal. Good face-offs and stuff. Don't tell me he doesn't have X-Factors. What? Okay. Okay, EA. Kent Johnson. Also no X-Factors? He was a fifth overall pick. Are you sure? Huh. Okay. Perfetti, Rossi. Yeah. I tell oh man. It's just, there's some, but no one really on the blocks. We'd have, yeah. You'd have to really give them a bunch of stuff that they wanted. I just don't know if that's possible. I honestly do really like the idea of Benson. But holy crap, would this be difficult? They got Caulfield on the block. What? Oh, is he RFA or something? Because he's not up here. Yeah, R. Oh, wow. Yeah, so they don't have Benson on the block, but. Oh, man, they really haven't done too well. Wow. Yeah, they haven't really done too well in the draft stuff. So here's the thing. They don't even want New Hook. They want Tom Wilson, weirdly. They do want Chikrin? They want Chikrin. 28. Fuck, I love the contract I have Chikrin on, though. He would. He could be very useful. He could be. Like, Chikrin could be amazingly useful. Man. But. Yeah. Eventually, you are going to have to. You do want Marino. I don't like do like. I do want Marino. So I'm thinking Bolin. Even he's only got 70 face off, so he's not that great of a center op. He's more of a winger. Even yeah. Hmm. Again, I want to hold on to a, a bunch of these guys. Some of them you could probably get rid of. Who's this Mears guy? Another sniper. Man, I have a lot of some. So Bolin. Bursch is a grinder. Hold on to that. Puminov 63. That. Another sniper. I can get rid of one of them. But you can, maybe you want to see if they grow. If you can't, dude. Yeah, we're running out, though. So, shit. What the hell? Like, you could throw Marino in there. That doesn't even get you close. Marino. Maybe a goal 10 here in Fedorov. You're looking at, I swear, Bjorklund combination you still have this guy too like you could probably get away with giving up Fedorov but again not a ton of value okay value just at least they're not saying woefully insufficient so that's good but now you're <laughs> we're almost out of picks here now you're getting into some difficult more difficult territory where it's like I don't want to give up firsts in case but you can maybe throw in a second from next year and hope that you can replace that. Well, now they're saying woefully insufficient. <laughs> okay. So, like, something like this, like, you'd have to give up Chikrin. And, man, oh, man, if I... Well, hold on. Let's see if they would like Carlson, too. There's no fucking reason for them to take him, though. 
<laughs> there really isn't. Not them. Like, he doesn't make sense going there. Yeah, they don't want any of those, like, one-year snipers. Man. It might have to be Chikrin. Might have to be Chikrin here. Which sucks. Or, hold on, you know what? We'll retain on Marino. Because we can do that. We can retain on Marino. Does that get us any closer? Hard to say. So let's just try to like make this one trade here before we do anything else. I kind of want to hold on to Lapierre for this year because I could use him. See if we can maybe make him become anything. They do, though they do want him. So it's like you could probably just throw him in as part of the deal. Like we wouldn't have a three C after that, but hey. You know, let's throw in Hendricks. Never really got a shot, but he's got some value here. Some some Reno Fedorov. A second Hendricks. Still not. They really don't want to give up Benson. I don't want it to be a first here. It can. It honestly can, but... L okay, Lutz is... Yeah. Let's throw him in there. Dude, yeah, uh, filling the needs, but not where it needs to be at all. I mean, we're not really giving them back. If like Fedorov's gonna be solid, maybe it's not this. Maybe the second won't work. Will it have to be a first? I'm thinking this first should be safer. I don't know about this season. I don't want to give up a pick from this season because I have no clue how we're gonna do. That should be safer. It's still dangerous, but. It's got a little bit more value. Let's see what they say to that. Because we're... You know. Nope. I don't know, man. I don't think we could get Benson with this sort of package. I mean, it's a huge fucking package. That's what she said. But... <laughs> Like, they're just simply not having it. They can remove Lutz and, like, try something else with slightly more value, but what was that? I don't necessarily want to give up Boland. He's an X-Factor sniper. That seems like a terrible, terrible idea. Who could even take some face-offs in a pinch? He wouldn't start him there, but he could in a pinch. One of these guys, maybe... X-Factor Defense, we don't want to give up. X-Factor Sniper. There's another X-Factor Sniper. I want to see which one of them takes the, the lead. Because, I mean, could have a third-line scoring line at some point. Like, yeah, we don't need him now necessarily. But you may have a third-line scoring line. It really feels like this is going to cost Chikrin. And I really kind of wanted to hold on to him. Or at least use him for a much, much bigger deal. But Or, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be one. Yeah, Lutz was kind of the guy. The only other thing is, like, you do Puminovs, so you just take a gamble on which one you think is going to be better. Like, Mears is... Yeah, I just really wanted to see which one to grow more. But, uh... Yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of it. It's either that or we have to throw in Chikrin. Or Bolin, but I'm not doing that. I'm not doing Wilson, either. Even though they want him, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Damn. I'm really looking here, but uh, they don't want Vanishek, but he is there. Man, I can't really. He's so bad. <laughs> like, that's just no value. Well, obviously, they want Ice Warrior, but that's not happening. But this is even less value than the thing before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not sufficient at all. Mm. I don't think there's a way to do this. Even with two friggin' firsts. Which is kind of crazy, but... Again, we're not planning to be a, a 
crap team at that point. Even he threw Lutz in after that. Like two firsts and Lutz. I don't think that I still don't think that works. No. And that was like the value. Who the hell else? Hold on, hold on. Who else that I had in there? I don't think. Yeah, besides yeah, besides Lapierre, but even with him in there instead of that Lutz guy, I still don't think this goes through. Nope. All right, I don't think we're getting at least not. It's gonna cost Chikrin, and I don't really think I want to do that. Benson looks good, twenty-one eighty-seven, but I don't know, man. Not that, not this good. So fuck. That is gonna be kind of difficult here. Mm-hmm. So we do need to shed some guys here. We're gonna sign some guys, obviously, to just Um, you know, fill some of the gaps and whatnot, but yeah, dude. Fortunately, there's just like, man, Waffle Master. There's no way he's gonna be on a block or anything. There's like a winger playing. <laughs> we would need some kind of a center or something. But yeah, eh. Good luck. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I'm. Looks incredibly difficult. Uh, yeah, I just don't really see it. And I already kind of pre-checked for OFDs. And there's nothing really there. And that would be something else that we could use. So, fuck, dude. I really have no idea. I'm just going to start here and look at free agency. We're going to just kind of sign some dudes to fill places. Some like done like guys around this area. Who the hell's this guy? Alexander Carrier. An OFD. Would actually fit on our first pairing. Hmm. Not give him five years. I'll give him two. And give him like eight mil for a couple years. Now obviously we're gonna have some guys extended, but we have so much friggin' money. We're gonna sign Alexander Carrier to that. Make sure we grab him. You can play in our top two. See if we can maybe get him some stat growth or something. And maybe one more defenseman or something like that. I like how they're all right-handed right now. What the hell is Guyas? Is he? I think he's uh, righty. He's gonna be in the probably in the top six, but I'm just seeing what else I could use here. We are obviously gonna trade some guys, but we do have to spend some money, especially if we're gonna. Trade some, including, you know, Carlson or Chikrin. Like, you can trade Carlson at the end of the year. I'm just worried about that value decline. Yeah, he's probably going to be ready for top four. Yeah, so you're going to have him him and Goddard in the top four, and then Chikrin and someone else, probably the guy we just signed. Hmm, maybe we wouldn't need a, another guy. Because we're going to probably trade Marino and Carlson. It's like ASAP. And maybe just in case if Guyas isn't ready, we could play the guy down. Then we still have foot. So it should honestly be a lefty if we can manage it. And just spend some money on a lefty. Alright, let's do that. It could be done. And he could kind of do either or. Might be He might be pissed and tank morale, but whatever. Sorry, again, we'll do a couple years for him. Do like 8 million. <laughs> there you go. So there's 16 mil that we'll spend. That'll cover some of the guys we ship out. But again, you still need some players. Now, these are these ones we get here. Probably going to be more... Th along the lines of third line type guys. Kunin's a prime candidate right here. Some of them I might only do for one year. Yeah, Kunin I'm only going to do for a year. For like 7 mil for a year. 
There we are. Who else here? Uh, let's stick with forwards. That'll be easier. Yes, he pulled yard. He never really panned out. All right. Not Trocek. Roslevic is pretty damn good, but he's got tons of interest. Well, I guess Pooley Arby's a guy we can sort of grab, but I didn't want him. Mm. Hold on, let me take a look. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take so likely Kuznetsov heads out. We'll hold on a new hook for now. So what's our? I'm just looking at what our top's gonna look like. Where certain guys are gonna be playing here. So obviously Casablanca, new hook, and probably Wilson. Then second line would be Lapierre, maybe Hino, Ovechkin. I don't know if High Note's going to be ready. So Pooley Harvey might be a good idea to grab. Yeah, Lapierre, Ovechkin, Pooley Harvey, or High Note. And then third line of Kuznets, because Kuznetsov's out the door. Maybe High Note on the third line with whoever else. We're getting Kunin and maybe one more. Maybe these guys make it up. We got rid of our fourth line as well. And maybe that'll be a rookie fourth line. We shall see. So, I definitely am going to get Pooley Arby here. And I'm going to give him a couple million for like six years. Just because he could be a guy that gets some stack growth if we play him in that top six. Which it looks like we might. So, we'll do that for Pooley Arby. Okay. Now, that's going to be a shit ton of money to spend, but now, obviously, we need to also shed some cap here. And we're just going to look for guys that that want them and then kind of dump them off for value, I guess. Because, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see who wants Carlson. Wow, really? Are you guys fucking kidding? No one wants John Carlson. The man's a Norris winner. The Leafs want John Carlson. The Leafs. That's it? Really? Holy hell. The Leafs are the only team that wants a John Carlson for two years. Alright. Why are you not willing to give up your fucking picks? How? What? Why are you not willing to give me your first, you morons? Whatever. We got two firsts for him. Right there. Okay. I said they weren't willing to give him up, but we got him. So here we go. We got two firsts. For John Carlson, I wonder. I, I don't know if I could have gotten more, but that kind of actually surprised that initially went through. So we have an extra first for this season. You can see our, our pick value starting to shoot up there. Which may actually be interesting, especially if we make the play. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Okay. We'll have an extra first for this season. That's nice. We have the max picks from next season. But again, we can get as many as we want. We don't have to draft all of them. We can move them around and stuff like that. Kuznetsov should fetch us a lot more. He should absolutely fetch us a lot. Or not. Or is no one going to be? Okay. Columbus wants Kuznetsov. Interesting. They've been kind of shit. That might be interesting to get some picks from them. The Lightning also want him. They've been on the lower side of things. But with us falling off... Oof. They don't have their picks. I guess I'll look to the Lightning here. The Lightning can at least afford them. They don't want to give their picks either, but we'll try to take two first for Kuznetsov as well. I don't know if that'll work. That should. Though. I'll try to get a little something extra too. Yep, two firsts and a second. Man, I wonder if we could have got that for Carlson. Two firsts and a second for Kuznetsov. So there we go. More value. Hopefully some of those increase. Alright. Now again, we're not necessarily drafting with all these. But it helps us sort of bank in some value of guys we're simply not going to use. Again, we still have Chikrin for a big deal if we so choose. But 44 million cap space available. Alright, who the hell else? We're holding on to Wilson. Holding. Oh yeah, Marino. And this is a guy we'll retain on to get a little something extra, I think. We're going to dump him off for sure because we're... Buying some stuff. So we're going to retain on Marino. So let's see. 
Oh, a lot of teams are. Yeah, because he's got. What, one year? Winnipeg's made the playoff seller. Boston, also a seller. Conservative seller. Flames, they've made the playoffs the last couple of years. Let's see what they got. Goodrow. <laughs> They're looking kind of solid. Canes are still good. I'm looking for someone maybe teetering on the edge here. They should be fine. Now, LA is on the up and up, but they got that nasty Barzell contract. I'm kind of thinking that'll hamstring them. Fuck you for not having it. Who has your first? Oh, man. I want to see who has that LA first. I want that. New York Islanders have it. They do want Marino, but I don't think there's a chance they do that. No, woefully insufficient. They're a conservative seller, but I don't think so. You can try to throw in a sweetener, but I don't think we're getting close to this. No, well, they don't even want any of the dudes I would give up. Oh, wait, they want Lutz. I would give up Lutz. Let's throw Marino and Lutz in there for that first. I don't think so. I don't think we're getting that. Okay. Let's just move on. I don't think they're going to be... That's a lot of value. Zero chance that goes through. Yeah. Alright. Seller. Also a seller, but they spent a lot of money. The Lightning won them again, but we kind of... Canucks would be interesting. I don't... Did that go through? Maybe over cap. Oh, really? Even with ret That's barely. <laughs> Come on. Do you have a shitty contract I could take back? You should. You're the Canucks. Yes. OEL. If they don't love me for taking that back, what the hell? There, now you can fit Marino under contract. Oh, fuck off, dude. They should. They would 100% fucking take that. Come on. Yeah, there's not really, not really a way to make that happen. That's going to be way too much, too. You know, let me go back to Vancouver for a sec. I want that first if I can grab it. Ah. Oh, yeah. And I'll throw in Lutz. Ah, he's, I'll just go this way. I'm throwing Lutz in this. Re okay, here you go. There we are. All right, sweeten the valley just a touch. They do really appreciate me taking on that X Men Larson deal, but we need to sweeten the valley just a touch. That can be doable. Absolutely. Do I have anyone down here that's unsigned trash? I don't think so. I think we did quite well. Well, top nine. And that's 62 at 19 playmaker. Bye. There's your sweetener, and we could probably grab a sweetener back from them. Probably not a four, but we'll try something. Okay, a five. We do need some later picks this, see this year. All right, give me a six and a seven if I'm doing that. Really? Just the six? Fuck you. Give me two sevens and assholes. There we go. All right, shed that. So there we go. <laughs> Way too many picks for this first year. We can only use three of these first, but that's okay. We can have them. We just can't draft with them all. So, all right. Now, what are we looking at? A lot of cap space is what we're looking at. I know that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, forward end, Casablanca, Newhook, Wilson, uh, Ovechkin, Lapierre, and probably going to be a pool party. And then third line of likely Hino and two others. So I'm kind of hoping Bolin. Although I'm, I got fucking Kunin. So I honestly would nearly prefer a playmaker. But they should get, they should still get. So Valley, what's the fourth line going to be, man? It could be just the shit that I have left. Though. I'll need to sign a lot of guys here. Well, we can, we can take that sort of slowish. Anyway, I think that's what we're initially trading off here. 
I don't have anything. I got rid of Kuzma. Yeah, those are the main, main pieces there. Everything else can wait. Yeah, everything else can wait. Especially on Chikrin. We're waiting with everything else. Alright. Let's advance a couple days. Yeah, I don't think I had any contracts. Well, let me... Oh, no, no. We already kind of took a look. I might actually... Well, we'll see about New Hook. Yeah, this is way too much for Casablanca. And I think it's probably way too much for Goddard, too. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, he, yeah, he could jump, but I'm waiting to see if he fucking does. I've I've gotten sucked into that trap a couple times. If you know, if he was giving me, like, a f between 5 and 6, I would 100% do it when he was at 84. Even if he stayed at 84, it's a risk I would take. But he could fucking stay at 84, and I'm, if I'm paying him 6 to 7, hell no. Um, Yeah, Lop here. I don't think there's a reason to... I think it's cheap as hell, but... 24 to 83. There's no real reason for me to extend him right now. And what does New Hook want? <laughs> Lol. Nope. Okay, I don't think we're doing any extensions right now. Uh, besides the one that we offered to Bjorklund. Right, again, we can still ship out Vanishek, but he's not really worth a month. It's a cap dump, really. <laughs> we could... Re yeah, we could... Yeah, I would rather not retain on him. That's like three years, yeah. Could retain maybe one extra year, but I'm not risking that many. Okay. Let's advance a couple days here. I just want to clean some of this up, see what we get. Okay, we got a new goalie coach. The other one, he changed what the hell he was after. I couldn't find him anywhere, so obviously he must have changed preferences or his specialty, which is weird. All right, we got Carrier done. Bjorklund extended. Mm, they want to just give us Cole Caulfield. Too bad we already have 10,000 snipers. Otherwise, that would be a, a curious trade. A very, very curious trade. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be very interesting to see what happens here. We're just going to basically be throwing a ton of young guys in the lineup. We got Pool Party and Kunin. Alright, where are we at now? Money spent and contract. Guys under contract. Yeah, we're, we're at the cap floor. We still could use a couple more guys under contract. So let's take a look at some of those two-way guys. And honestly, some of these guys could even be NHL ready if we wanted. Ooh, it looks like some of them. Oh, no, I'm on alone forwards, Turk. Generous. I mean, I could just get that Jazz guy back. 67 to 21 isn't awful. Let's get him. Screw it. Unfortunately, needs a full entry level, but whatever. It won't be. I guess I'll try this guy. I'll see if he grows like a weed or something like that. We'll do that, and then... There's an interest in this guy, which makes a shit ton of sense. It's like 2378. Jalen Crab. 2157. I don't think so. But Othman has a lot of interest. And I'm going to max out a two-way for two years for him. It's, he won't be great, but maybe he becomes a third liner. Like, I don't know. Oh, no picks required. You know what? Well, they, they'll probably match, but shit, I didn't see. Yeah, of course he was going to be tendered. Yet another sniper, but whatever. All right, so let's not count on him. Shit face-offs. What's his off? No. Off awareness is 81. I thought it was 91 for a second. I was like, wait. But nope. Holmstrom. Nope. Too old. Eh. If he was two-way forward, I'd maybe grab. Eh. Most of these are pretty meh. So many defensemen. Damn. It kind of has to be a forward at this point. Casey Middle's dead. I should throw Kunin on the fourth line. But he's pretty crap. Ugh. Damn, man. 
Wow, nice defensive awareness. Absolute off. Yeah, Holmstrom's is shit too. At this point, I'm just gonna get a guy to fill for a couple years. Hmm. That guy's at least okay. So fine, I'll grab him for a year. Max him out on two. That should be fine. We should have enough guys under contract at that point. Alrighty, I think that's pretty much gonna do it here. Let's advance a couple days and, and see exactly who we. Okay, yeah, he, he got matched. Othman got matched. Kind of figured that would happen. A couple more. We should have one more. Nick Hickenin, whatever. He Hickenin, Nickenin. Okay, we have 41 dudes under contract. Let's just see what it's gonna look like. We'll have Casablanca, yeah, obviously. Casablanca, New Hook. Wilson, Ovechkin, <laughs> look how Kudin's up there, but it'll probably be Lapierre, and then, yeah, I don't know, Kunin could play that second, or third line for sure, like, he's not bad offensively, you do Kunin, and then either, high note and Boland, I'm kind of hoping both of them get a slight jump, and I might just throw him on the third line regardless. Kunin, Heino, and Boland, and then fourth line of, like, just a bunch of whatever trash we have. <laughs> we got, like, Jonsson Fialbe. We have this Leeson guy. Pylon Hornquist might even be jumping up and be ready. He's a top, you know, he's a... He's a two-way. Like, pretty much whatever else is there, I think. And then offensively, we'll have Chikrin, and I'll probably do Carrier with him. Chikrin, Carrier, then... Uh, shoot. Now nah, whatever. They could be lefties. Dunn and Goddard. And maybe if Guyas jumps up, he'll replace Dunn. And then Foot will obviously be on the bottom pairing. So it'll be the Guyas, Goddard, and or Dunn and Goddard. And Dunn will be interchangeable. Uh, you will levy or Capobianco as depth. Either one. What is that? Eight defensemen. And then one, two, three, four. Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty of defensemen. Should have plenty of that. We got four. Well, actually, we don't have an AHL, dude. Well, we're counting on ice wear, and, but we still need to dump off Vanacek, so we're going to need an HL backup. All right, almost done. Almost done. This is a lot of wheeling and dealing here so far in this offseason, and definitely going to be more to come. All right. Um, man, some of these are quite good. <laughs> it's hilarious. Well, I mean, like backup potential guys, right? I'm just going to snag this guy. Well, I can't help but want these guys who are like 77s at 20 freaking 3. Uh, they shouldn't be other, better than the other guy we have, theoretically. I, just, I can't help myself. I really can't. I'll just grab the one for a year, though. There we go. And that should do it. And that should be all we need here. There we are. We got Marilinen. Okay, that should should freaking do it. Yeah, we're at the cap floor. <laughs> wow, we've got a lot. We have a shit ton of picks in the next couple of years. We can't use them all, but we have a lot. So, holy crap! Uh, I'm gonna sim up now. Get the lines and stuff taken care of. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. The new look of the Washington Capitals. It's Ovi on the first. He got more stack growth. <laughs> He's gonna decline more, but I, I, how can I not put him on the first line? Ovi, New Hook, and Casablanca. Also, it does. Yeah, because of neither New Hook or Wilson having next factors. That New Hook, Wilson, Casablanca had plus zero. Not great. Uh, second line, Pugliarvi, Lapierre, and Wilson. So, a playmaker and two power forwards. We'll see how that works. Uh, Bolin, Hornquist, and Haino. And all rookie third line. The kid line. Uh, they're all also listed as depth. Besides, Hornquist is listed as fourth line. Uh, high note. Now, two-way. But again, they're a plus three because of all the freaking X factors. So, I think that's really good for, for young players is having good chemistry. I think we'll boost, well, can boost growth. Not 100% sure, but I think that does help. Anyway, that'll be our third line. Then Janssen, Fialbi, Kunin, and Leeson just 
random guys on that fourth line, including Kunin. Sit down. Uh, defensively, Chikrin Carrier. Then we're going to have Goddard Guyas. Now, Guyas loves the top pairing here. And he would get chemistry, but I kind of also don't want to rush him along. Now, Goddard did jump up to an 80, 85. It's a slight jump. He's still 21 years old. I'll look at his contract now. And then Dunn and Foot are hilariously the only ones with chemistry. Yay. Uh, power play, Ovechkin, Newhook, Casablanca with a high note in Carrier. Or Carrier. Going to go with high note there. And then Bolin, LaPierre, Wilson, Chikrin, Pooley, RV. No, uh, what's his name? But it'll be fine. Uh, here's the four man. I didn't even touch it. Uh, penalty kill. I kind of didn't touch it besides putting foot in there instead of the OFD. Carrier. So there we go. I like the way it looks. Three man, same thing here. There he is. Hornquist. Oscar Hornquist. He's on the penalty kills. Four on four. New hook. Casablanca. Now he's taking over the, the top, top duties. Uh, the defensive pairings will be the same. And then LaPierre Ovechkin and Boland and Heino and Sniper Power Ford. We'll see. Uh, same offensive pairing or yeah, same offensive duos in Carrier, Chikrin, Goddard. Extra attacker going to be Newhook says Casablanca. Eh. They're on the same line, so it doesn't really work. Uh, man, who's even on that second line? No one good. I got Tom Wilson. <laughs> Another extra attacker. Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, here's an issue. We got to dump one of them, and here's the other issue. Ice War is 100% ready for backup. We're going to put him in there. Now we just need to dump off one of those goaltenders. So that is what we're going to do. You know, let's do that before we even look at contracts. Well, let's take a look and see if we can get rid of either of them. Bjorklund has some friggin' value, but let's see if anyone wants Vanacek. I highly, highly doubt anyone's going to want him. Ah! The Rangers do, but money. Okay, hold on. Anyone besides the Rangers? No. Just the Rangers. Shoot. Let's just see who needs goaltenders. They don't? Um, nope. Well, they need a... No, they don't. Not really. Uh, they need a backup. Would you like a really good backup? Mm, too expensive for you. And the three years left. Good luck making that happen. Chicago. <laughs> I got like three fringe guys. Here you go. You have a goalie controversy. Oh, you can afford them. Take them off my hands. Please have like one year left. Oh my god. Well, I, are they going to even want to accept this? <laughs> Oh, they're not going to be able to get Makar back. Is he going to hit for agency? Oh, there's your OFD. <laughs> they got Gerard extended, but not Makar. You're getting out. Okay, they're getting out of that McLeod deal. Hmm. Will they take Vanacek? I can get like one second, maybe. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. People not happy about getting rid of Vanacek. Screw you. The future is Bjorklund. Bjorklund and Ice Warrior have the net. There's your depth. <laughs> Pylon and you will levy. Alrighty. There we go. Who knows how this is going to work. Uh, wait, were we at... I think we should have been. Yeah, we're still at cap floor, baby. Still at the cap floor. We did it. Okay. That was a lot. Let's check out the possible extensions once again. Casablanca. <sighs> New look, are you still wanting a King's Ransom? Yeah, he still wants the same thing. I'll, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Goddard. You did change. There we go. There, I'm doing that. I'm... Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm doing that immediately. This is why I waited. He got a jump, and I get him for under six. So, again, even if he stays at near where he's at, it's not a horrible deal. All right, so five, six, seven, five will lock him up for eight years. 
Uh, LaPierre we're not going to bother with. We, have, so we still need to get Casablanca. How much is that eight-year thing? Is that Should I just do that? It's tw If it was at like 10, I would do it. 12 is going to be way too expensive, I think. Yeah, it's over 10, man. I don't really want to get him for over 10. We'll see if we can not. All right, so now Bjorklund and Icewear will be our goaltenders. A lot of moves and crap. And we'll have to just keep uh, checking on those with guys. All right. The new Washington Capitals. You've seen them. And you know something I'm going to do? Well, you see, you saw a lot of the goaltenders there for some of those teams. But we're going to, since you guys have been struggling with fucking goaltenders so much, we're going to show all the teams goaltenders. There's Anaheim. This will help you with predictions. There's Arizona. Baston. Buffalo. Carolina. Columbus, interesting. The Flames. Chicago. Gustafson on the uh, Avs. Dallas. The Wings. <laughs> Look how many of them fucking 64 backups who so. Wow. Look at you, Casper Mackey. <laughs> the Rangers. Alright. I'm just laughing at these goaltender combos for a lot of these teams. That makes sense for the Sharks right there. Vasilevsky's still going strong. It's just jerking in Toronto. They're serious, man. Winnipeg. And that's it. So there you go. You guys have seen all the goalies for all the teams. So that'll help you with your predictions. And you kind of get an idea of where the league's at. Maybe I'll start getting in a habit of doing that, at least for goaltenders. Because that's I always the kind of weird one, I guess. Okay. So go ahead and make your predictions. Best of luck to you all. And let's see what the hell happens with this, with this team. We still got the same coach. But yeah. Who knows if he's long for this world. Alright. Let's get this first bit of simming done. Goddard accepted that extension. Get out of here. We got to pretty much keep all of our players right now. We actually don't have a depth forward in the AHL, but who cares? Hopefully less injuries. And I made sure to put in that 57 low elite. <laughs> all right, we'll see what happens here. I'm not expecting a whole heck of a lot from this season, but you never know. You never know. All right, so regular season underway. I'll let the auto scout get going. We're not actually too bad so far. Four and one start. Kind of surprising. Wow. Okay. Are we gonna? I, we may just be a playoff. I mean, I I didn't know what the hell was gonna happen, but yeah, we might be a playoff team. It's kind of looking like that as we are raffle stomping a lot of these imp opponents. Ooh, Jesse Pugliarvi, a real concussion right there for the guy. I'm going to leave this line intact. I'm just going to throw in... Oh, he's a power forward, too. Throw in Pylon. He's absolute ass, but whatever. It's whoever. <laughs> All right, wow. Win games, man. Saying the draft class is going to be weaker. Ovi's actually out with an injury now, too. That's unfortunate. A sore knee, huh? Actually, don't have a fucking depth piece. All right, you a levy. <laughs> Ugh. We just don't care too much. We're not trying to go crazy here. There we go. Just play. Play hockey. All right, 14-6-0 to start the season. Uh, uh, probably better than... We would have thought Hendricks LaPierre is actually the points leader. Interesting. Let's see what the hell is going on with that. We're in first in the division. Scoring 3.6 goals per game. 2.5 goals against. Wow. Without even trying, we have a 1.1 differential. 25% on the power play. Hype. <laughs> four shorties, four. We're killing on home eyes. We're pretty bad on the road, but. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, okay. 
And it looks like we're getting a lot of spread scoring. Yeah, Hendricks Lapierre with 19 points. Casablanc with 18. Newhook with 18. Ovechkin is 17. Looks like he's already hit that. Yeah, he's got. He only needed seven goals, so he's got a thousand goals in his career now. It was a huge celebration, and he promptly hurt his knee. Um, we all know he's celebrating. Bolin 15 points, and he's he's freaking third line. Wilson 15. High note 11. Pugliarvi 10. Hornquist 10. But dude, yeah, it's like good production all the way across the board. Uh, done with plus 14. Noah. Really, Carrier? I got you on the power. Play. Dude, he's shit. Whatever. I was like hoping to get some stat growth for the guy and then trade his ass. <laughs> Looking like that's happening. But Guyas and Goddard are doing good, so good for them. Please grow also. Wait, it looks like... No, no, he was already 84. Uh, Bjorkland. Oops, do I have rotations on? I must have rotations off still. Wait, why would I? It looks to be the case, though. I swear he's only played one game. What the fuck? Do I really? Yeah, oops. Okay, sorry, I swear. There you go. Good thing we always check here. <laughs> anyway, he did good in that game he played. <laughs> Alrighty. Back to normal. Okay, well. Pretty damn solid. If I could say so myself. We'll go up another month and we'll check out progress reports. Ovi should be back soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oscar. Stop. I can't even put anyone else in. Okay, at least Ovechkin's back. So he's going back in here. He's going to have to play through a hurt knee. I'm, I'm tired of this shit. Come on. Pooley Arby being out really sucks. Oh, you love You get to take some draws. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Oh, th okay, thank God. It's freaking Hershey. Good Lord. Oh, yeah, I'll play. Have fun. What? Get out of here. Yeah, fully healed. Oh, oh we good. All right, scouting time. Let us see. We're probably not going to be drafting up here, so I guess we'll just target scout some stuff. <laughs> An elite grinder at ninth overall, huh? Interesting. Very interesting. We'll take some looks here at all the normal places that we do. Well, basically just going by. Damn, that's, wow. Uh, That's not great. Some of these guys may be steals. In that first round. We'll have to see. Oof. Not looking too great so far. In the way of potential steals here. Hopefully 50 and beyond for mediums has at least a high volume. So we have some kind of chance at finding some stuff. I mean, There's a lot of one ticks here so you never know. All right, not a whole lot. Oof. At least so far. Auto scout needs to do a bit better. Can I... I clicked it, and it didn't fucking do anything. There we go. <sighs> I'm just going to scout him, because... Yeah. There we are. Damn. Okay, at least we might have some lows, but, of course, already being scouted. <laughs> Let's see what else, man. All right, that guy should at least... All right, this guy's pretty much guaranteed to be low elite here, so that's good. So there's one guy looking good so far. Everything else, though, we need a lot more work and a lot more info. All righty, well... At least there's a lot of lows to look at, too, so that's something we got going for us. And some of them are in pretty okay location. Like, that guy's probably going to be low elite, too. Alright, he's pretty much guaranteed to be low elite in that first round. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. 
Well. <laughs> There's a little bit more in the way of the top sixes here, but I cannot get a reading on this draft. I know it said weaker. But again, there's several things that that can mean. All right, well. Getting towards the end here. At least we have a high volume to be able to uh, send our scouts to. So hopefully in the next couple rounds we'll uh, glean us a bit more information here. Okay, that guy is actually in a pretty... It's a little late, but you never know. For a medium elite. This guy most likely for... This guy could go anywhere over the shop. But we're hoping for someone. Someone to be a goddamn medium elite steal. Value, if anything. We had a guaranteed grinder in there. Oh my god, another possible grinder. Or, well, he is a grinder. But guaranteed. Guaranteed grinder. Who knows what his potential is. Look at that, though. If only this was NHL 21. Be a lot more excited. Still love my grinders, but they're just not as cool anymore. None of that chemistry cheese works. Come on, be a lowly grinder for me. That'd be hilarious. Damn, okay. At least we have had a lot to look at here. So that is the one plus here. Besides there not being a lot of, like, amazing locations. And I'm still just going to click on everyone. Even if they're further out of range, we've seen some good, you know, top fours or top six forwards there. All right, nothing there. How about any good one ticks? Nope. Nope. One. Okay, there we go. Good location. Do it. And that's it. All right. Not too bad on the scouting side of things. Hornfist is back. We've had a lot of friggin' injuries this season. That hasn't been fun. There you go. Back in. Alright. 17-9. We've fallen back down to earth slightly now. Missing Pooley That's for damn sure. And and then his fucking replacement gets injured. What is this? Pooley Arby could at least come back. Hey, you're fine. It was just a concussion. At NHL. There we are. Please don't get injured again. <laughs> There he goes in there. Oh, thank God. Fully healed. We got a bunch of... Wow, we're struggling here. Starting to fall down those standings. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oof. Pylons fully healed. You were a depth piece. Yeah, we are fall... Oh, my God. What a horrible month. <laughs> 19, 15, and oh, that was an awful month for us. New Hook is now this point per game, though. We're still hanging on to a wild card spot, but that was a horrible month. Um, I actually kind of want to see how much shit changed for us. Yeah, 318, 262. Power play still good. Penalty kill still okay. BR ratio definitely changed a lot. We stopped scoring as much. I mean, we did have some injuries. New hook with 34 points, OV over point per game, 20 goals already. Casablanc with 31 points, Lapierre with 27, Wilson 22, Bolin, then Hino, Kuhn and Pugliarvi, Hornfist. Still doing all right. Still doing all right, but yeah, they definitely slowed down quite a bit. Defensively, yeah, I, I don't know what the hell Carrier's doing. Him and Shirkin are awful together, but who cares? Everyone else is doing good. That's Those are the ones we mostly care about. Not too great from Ice Warrior, but he's really not getting any time. Bjorklund's kind of doing okay. But whatever. We're easing Ice Warrior into it, I guess. <laughs> Four freaking rookies. Alright. Well. Let's check the progress reports now. Really. Okay, now Boland is growing. That's good. Yeah, he's got a little bit to his awareness, to his shot. That's really good. A bit more to his defensive awareness, too. Hornkfist has a couple. Yeah, a couple. Uh, High note doesn't. High note's got nothing. Apparently, he's still 19. He's still only 19. He should still be growing fine. Yeah, he's got some morale growth here and there. 
So nothing from Goddard. Hold on, where was... Yeah, Guyas has a couple. Yeah, they're grown. Oops, why did I exit? In the system here. Okay, Pumanov's has grown. Actually, quite a bit. This is why I wanted to hold on to him and whoever the hell the other one was. Muir's. <laughs> they're both essentially the same overall now. Pumanov's has grown slightly more. We'll see if that considers uh, continues cons. Not too bad. Actually, really good. Yeah, solid growth so far from cons. Where the hell were you drafted? Yeah, fourth rounder. Not bad at all. Uh, Jass has actually grown a little bit. He doesn't have X-Vectors. That's a lie. Uh, actually, not a ton of volume. So, Burrish isn't growing. This is a grinder, right? Yeah. Fedorov. Oh, yeah, we still have Fedorov. He's grown a little bit, too. So we're missing some growth from certain key guys, but not a whole ton. Like, not a lot. Like, we don't have a ton of pro... I'm usually at this point, I expect us to have a ton, but yeah, we are going the opposite way. We don't have a ton. But that's okay. All right. Let's just fly up to the trade deadline. See whatever happens, this team happens. Zero expectations, but Ovi already got the milestone. That was the main goal of this season, and he was obviously going to do it on the first line. All right, starting to win a few more games now. Maybe starting to right the ship here. Oh, that's a tremendous way to start the month with a huge, huge... I don't think Chikrin is actually up, but I'm checking. Huge, huge winning streak to start things off. I can't believe Carrier is not doing anything. Piece of shit. <laughs> All right, we finally snap got the winning streak snapped, but we answer right back with two wins. Do some scouting real quick. All right, continuing on. Uh, Fairbury. Avoid oh a little bit of a boo boo. So we all hops. <laughs> He's got just got shit chemistry everywhere. Or what man? What the hell's going on? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious though. Uh, Chikrin does have a mild concussion now, man. Our our NHL team has gone through it this season. They really have. And put Guyas up there because he has grown a little bit. Oh, baby. Look at those wins. Look at those. Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Ugh. Haven't we gone through enough, man? Jesus. We actually have to call up a goddamn goaltender. Oh, shoot. Both of these guys have to clear waivers. Okay. So, we'll go with the worst one, I guess. If we lose them, we lose them. I swear we'll get a few more games, though. So there you go. Uh, Chikrin's back at least. Yay. Do that. All right. And then it'll tell us he's fully healed. Uh, yeah, let me just... I don't want it to mess up whatever else. It'll just give us a <laughs> 50 overall goaltender. There we go. Yeah, yeah, chicken fully healed. I put him back in there. Uh, Fairfree's back. Goddamn injuries, man. One to nothing win. Really, dude? Holy shit, man. Yeah, I legit have a defenseman I gotta throw in there. Oh. <sighs> I thought it was something else. I was like, no! There you go, Ice Warrior. Bjorklund back in. Now we gotta send down the goaltender. I always forget to do that part. Thank goodness he didn't claim. <laughs> he didn't get claimed. Not that I it was a huge, huge deal. That would have just been annoying. Here we are. Continuing on, we have a pretty damn decent record. Ryan Johansson on waivers, no. I'm just not taking anyone. I mean, I could have put him in the fucking AHL, but that might give us more uh, more injuries. You never know. What? Isn't that... Oh, it is AHL. Weird. Wait. <laughs> I don't even know where he is. Where is he? There he is. Ah. There we go. Blue Jackets fired their coach. Wait, wait, were they one of the picks that we got? 
Hola, stop it. You piece of shit. I know we were looking at the Blue Jackets. I don't think we actually got their pick. How do we have inv- Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Getting bit by an injury bug something fierce this season. Yeah, I see that. He'll be back in like two days. I stopped the sim. I'm just gonna get to the fucking deadline at this point. Thank you. Ovi lost morale because of individual performance. That's not a good sign if Ovi's that's happening to Ovi. Yeah, he's they're still doing fine. What the fuck are you bitching about, Ovi? You look eh. What the hell? Yeah, what the hell are you bitching about? Wow. He wasn't actually out, but I'm always checking just to make sure. Okay, we're actually over 40 and sub-20 reg losses at the deadline, which is hilarious. Yeah, always over point per game <laughs> at age fucking 40. Good lord. 3-3-1-2-5-7-20. Three, three, okay, power play dropped a bunch. I'm, I'm not going to bother to see how we stack up, because... Ah, fuck it, I will. Fine. Where are we at? Offense. Top three in offense. Defense. Uh, just outside of the top five. Wait, let's, let's see Toronto, dude. Did you just see Toronto? They have the top offense and the top defense. Yeesh. Power play. We are in the top five, actually. Penalty kill. Middle of the pack. I mean, not horrible, considering we tore down our team and rebuilt it, essentially, in a year. It's a completely different look. Ovechkin was 62 points. Casablanca point per game was 61. Newhook point per game. Lapierre is 50 points. Wilson with only 40. Yikes. Uh, high note, only th oof, 30. But, ooh, yeah, we really fell off. Pooley RV's missed a ton of time. Well, it's all right. Chikrin, Dunn, Goddard. Everyone's a plus now, including Carrier, who's still not producing points, but whatever. Everyone's getting some. Yeah, I swear he's been doing better as a backup. 9-10 and a 2-3-8, and he's got 14 points in 11 games played for me with a shutout. Bjorklund's done actually really good. 9-1-7 and a 2.5. Yeah. Those are all our rookies. All doing pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Ovechkin's down to an 87, but uh, he's crushing it. And we're here at the deadline. I uh, don't even think we can sell much else. <laughs> let's uh, let's check out some progress reports and stuff like that once again. This is the main thing that we're after. Guyas is growing more. To oh, Tom Wilson actually is declining? Wow, he's actually naturally declining at age 32. Holy shit. Yikes. Okay, maybe we do look to trade Tom Wilson. <laughs> Guyas, he's grown. So a little slowly but surely. Bolin's is that the same amount? Maybe a little bit more. Uh, Hornfist has got a little bit. I think that's around the same amount. Maybe a bit more. Ice Warrior's got a bit, and High Note's not doing anything. Yeah, but Ice Warrior's got a couple ticks here and there. Passing and puck playing frequency, cool. Literal worst thing. All right, in the system now. Cons! He's grown a shit ton. <laughs> Holy shit. That man is unreal growth. Martin Cons, a crap ton of growth. Pumanovs is... See, this is why I didn't want to trade either one of them. I want to see. Pumanovs grew a crap ton. He's way better than Mears now. Or way higher than Mears, I should say. Yeah, Mears hasn't grown nearly as much, so glad, man, that Pumanovs was the one I was going to trade because Mears was slightly overall, but I was like, I don't want to because I want to see which one of them grows better. Look at Pumanovs. Uh, Bertuzzi, growing a little little, little chunk. Letal Who the fuck is this guy? Is this someone I just signed or something? I can't remember. Jass is actually growing a little bit, but doubt he makes it. Fedorov looking okay, but he's definitely tradable. And Ola Hedman's grown a bit more. He's that grinder guy, I think, or so. Anyway, he was a low nine that was always growing. <laughs> Cameron Wilson, not looking good. Probably trade. But hey, not too bad, man. Not too bad, all things considered. Really not. Uh, I'll give you guys a look at the draft class here as well. Who the hell knows what the hell's happened in that top five? But we got some. No, no there's some decent stuff here. Two way four, unfortunately. X Factor guy, but you know, X Factor grinder. Interesting right here. Maybe some good stuff. Who knows? Nothing really else yet for the mediums. 
couple, a few guaranteed low elites. Now, nice. We knew that go. And then there should be that one other. This guy here, he should be guaranteed low elite. And then there's going to be that other guy at 20 something. So a lot of low elites here. That's good. Uh, him. And him? Wow. Okay. Fuck. Damn. Should be some good stuff here. Now I'm a little upset we can't draft with all of our freaking firsts. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much in the normal areas. That guy's interesting. Both of them are interesting. I'm going to pin them just to maybe they get scouted a bit better in the auto scout. Uh, I'm not going to pin any of those. Uh, no one out of the ordinary in the way of medium top fours and a couple starters. Uh, maybe an elite. Won't pin them. Oh, wow. Nothing else really after that. The lows, yeah, nothing. No guarantees or even close to guarantees. So that's what we got to look at so far. We'll see the rest of that. Shut up, controller. Uh, we'll see the rest of uh, the whatever. Whatever happens. I don't know. Words. No, but Tampa's pick. Tampa's pick. Woo, boy. So, no, we didn't get uh, the blue jackets. But Tampa's pick, boy. Obviously, Toronto's doing really, really good. Vancouver and ours, I mean, we're all doing pretty okay. But Tampa's pick, man. Oh, baby. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, bottom! Bottom of the Atlantic! 43 points! The third worst team in the NHL. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy crap, what a trade that. Who did we give to him? Carlson? No, Carlson went to Toronto. Who the hell did we give to Tampa? Good lord, Tampa. Oh, I'm I'm happy right now. It was Kuznetsov. Oh, they're shit. They're absolute dog shit. How are they so bad? Wow. Wow, they are just awful. We don't know how, but we love it. Dude, even if, like I said, I didn't even say it, but if just one of those like turned into a lottery pick, we were home free. And well, one of them did. Tampa's is 100% gonna be a lottery pick. They're like they're 11 points behind the Sens. Oh man, yeah, they're 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 bottom three confirmed. Like there's there's such a small chance that they drop out, and uh, of that of that bottom three in the NHL. So we should have a top five pick guaranteed from that. That's amazing. That is amazing. Wow, okay. So actually, we're really going to want to get that top five figured out here. So let me just go ahead and assign the scouts to there. Uh, being scouted, you're not. Potential comparison, X will be, of course, there. yeah, some weird stuff going on, whatever. We can interview them if we need to. We know they'll be elite in that top five. Or high top six. Okay. Okay. Well... That just got real cool. That was the last one I thought that would do it, too. Like, really? <laughs> I was like, Tampa. I mean, they've been... Ah, I don't know. I just didn't think that would happen to them. All right, so that'll wrap things up. We could ship some stuff out of the deadline, but this is going pretty long recording-wise. I don't know how long the actual video will be after edit it, but I got stuff to do. So I'm going to end that here. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.